Nice, ain't they? You see all these ones, mate? So these are all the new bugs. Yeah, Little Surge, she's my favourite. Little Fang X, size 10. Basically, this is a caddis fly. You know, like the, they basically, it's a bug that lives on the bottom, the lake bottom or the river bed. And uh, they go around and they collect all the little twigs, little tiny stones, and they make a perfect shell, like a, a cylindrical shell that they live inside. And the larvae, or the like, like a maggot grub type thing, he builds this home, he lives inside it until he's ready to emerge and hatch. And then he comes out of it and he emerges as a sedge, like up through the water. And obviously when he reaches the surface, he'll turn into a fly and, and fly off. And you think that this is happening daily, like at the right time of the year, these bugs and that are just hatching. They're just popping up, they're just coming up through the water. And if the carp's there at the right time, right place, he's munching it, mate. Food, it's dinner. You know, a bug like that, for example, I'd use it on a not Northlands park. You know, those fish, they're food fish. They know exactly what sweet corn boilies, bread are. They see loads of food, but maybe somewhere a little bit more natural, like a gravel pit or somewhere where the fish are actually feeding a lot more naturals. Something like that will definitely get you extra bites. Same as a water boatman. A little crixer. You know, this particular one here, the underside of him is black. So, again, if that's sitting in the water like about that angle yeah. yeah obviously from the underside with that black underside it would just silhouette lovely against the, against the sky and stuff and some of the bugs we've started featuring uh like this iridescence see that blue shimmer again just to try and induce a, a bite um these are like large and natural so that's that's to imitate a, a, da a, a damsel fly again real popular bug around the water and stuff um this one's to imitate a daddy long legs these are awesome. Like these come in a, in a pack and we're calling them moving bugs. Now if you're fishing a zig rig, and obviously the bait's suspended in the water, naturally due to undertow and wind, the bug will always move a little bit. You think it's on light mono, yeah? So it's always gonna move and waft about and stuff. Now we've added this element of movement where these little pieces of elastic and the long hackles, the long feathers, they'll sort of sway a bit more in the water and the legs will certainly be moving. And it's again, just to try and induce a bite. Uh, my favourite method, Alfie will tell you, the absolute, my favourite method of all time is just taking a hook and just putting loads and loads of maggots on it. Yeah, and just walking and walking and walking until I see some fish and then casting towards them. Ideally, if the fish is swimming in a direction, you cast in front of it and you want to try and drop that maggot and a bunch of maggots as close to them as possible. But it's the movement thing. They see that bunch all like, and they're like, they can't help themselves. They've got to go and investigate. And obviously, you've got the ammonia and stuff coming out, the maggots anyway, the smell, but it's, the, it's movement. A lot of people like, they don't think carp fishing like that, they think about casting out a lead with a boilie and the boilie will sit on the bottom, which obviously we all know works, you know, if the, food, if the food's good, the boilie's really good, the fish will come and eat it, won't they? But carp, like a lot of fish, like, they hunt, they're hunters, they go around eating things, hunt, they're going to hunt out some crayfish or some mussels or some fly hatches and stuff, so if you can add a bit of movement into your, your setup as well. Um, something I've been doing a lot lately with my zig rigs is, if I'm fishing an adjustable zig float, yeah, I'll actually go up to it and tighten my clutch up, maybe two or three turns to make my bug move down. Yeah, maybe 10 minutes later, I'll walk back over again and I'll let a bit of line out to move the bug up. Or I've even sat by my rod, just sitting there, just holding the line in my fingers, just pulling it, just pulling a little bit, just pulling a little bit, and my bug's just, just moving, man, and boom. Sometimes you can be sitting there holding the line, doing it, just moving it, and off it'll go, I'll pull the line out of your hands. Again, it's that movement thing. The carp, like, okay, they're not true predators like pike or perch or zander, but they have got that, you know, that instinct inside them where they're going around, they're looking for food and, and they want to eat it, you know? Um, these particular ones here, I don't know if you've seen these, like the ones without hooks. So there's no hook at all, and you can just mount that on your line, like, you know, the same way you tie on a piece of foam or anything, um, you just tie it straight on there. Um, these are a bit more, you know, that's, a sort, that's what I'll be using over Northlands. Yeah. That one there. Yeah, I've got the white on the top. I know those fish in there like white. They're bread eaters. They're eating lots and lots of bread all the time. And I've got my black on the underside so the fish can see it if they're looking up. Uh, this one here though, this is, um, this, I've been doing this a lot lately as well. Young lad showed me this. Um, 
again, it's that movement thing. Like I'm so, so, so confident in maggots. So I brought it into play with, with my zig rig. Basically, I've got the color effect again. So it's always the black on the bottom and always a nice color on top. What I've done here, it's just a knot that's not whipped onto the shank, a little bit of a kicker to open the gape out. Like that. But what I've got in here, rather than just having that as a, a red and black bit of foam, you've seen him before. I've actually got in there a little size 16 hook. Yeah, so what I do now, pull that down now, two little maggots, slide it back up. So now I've not only got a, a perfect zig with my black and my colour on the top, I've now got two maggots on top of it moving around. It's that movement thing, lads. It just is sparking a bit of interest. It's, it's, it's the natural instinct of the, of the fish to then, to then go and investigate that. So that's what I've been doing a lot over this winter, bringing the maggots into it and, and stuff like that.